All right, this is how we use conditions in Bubble I.O. to make it fully responsive on mobile. You need this, it's clean, and it's, a, it's really just a must have for your app or application or whatever it is you're building. So as you can see here, I've got a simple index page, simple home page for a website. Now, if we were to go to the responsive section here, so at 1200, which is default, it's fine. Sorry, 1400. At 1200, it's fine. 992, it's fine. 768, as we can see, it's fine. But when we go down to 320 pixels, which is the smallest screen size possible, we uh, start to run into a few issues, as you can see. Down at 320 here, if we were actually to view this on a mobile device, we would not be able to see the bit that's cut off as the minimum width is too high for the element. So on the group, as we can see here, sorry, refresh. On the group here, you can see that the min width is 496 and the min width on the group that contains the image is also 496. This means that because both these groups have this same minimum width, at a certain pixel, they will collapse on top of each other. So as you can see here, we go down, we start like this. Once this goes below uh, 992, below 992 is when it stacks vertically on top of each other. 496 plus 496, 992. So that's first things first, is to make sure we have that set on either group. Not the image element itself, but the group holding the image element. To select this, press the image, right click, select first parent, group right, min width 496. But as I said, at 320, it's problematic as it's too large for a mobile device screen. So what do we need to do? First things first, on the group left itself, the group containing all the elements, we need to set a condition. When the page width is smaller than 576 bootstrap standard, we need to change something. And what is that? The min width. So as I said, the minimum width, the smallest width for a mobile, mobile device will be 320 pixels. So we can make this 320. And then if we jump over to the responsive section here, as you can see, it now fits in the mobile screen. We have a few issues that we need to fix, but for now, we'll quickly jump onto the group right as well. Select first parent, select first parent, do the same thing for group right. Page width less than 576 min width is 320 pixels now back in the responsive menu here as you can see that now has changed and fits perfectly but as I said we need to change a few things here the padding is too much on this element it looks really blocky and it centers it so back in the UI builder, what do we have? We have 96, 96 top and bottom, 32, 32 left and right. This is bootstrap standard for desktop, but for mobile, we need to half the left and right and make the top and bottom 64. So conditional as well, when current page width is less than 576, we already have this condition set, so we can add another property to change when true. So this will be the left padding, the right padding, and the top padding. Right now, 32 and 32. We're going to half that to 16 and 16. Top padding, 96. Bootstrap standard for a smaller device, 64. Okay.
That is perfect. Back on the responsive now. As you can see, the padding on the left and right is a lot smaller and the text elements take up a lot more of the screen which is easier to read on a mobile device. Now as we scroll down here, the only other thing I'll say is on the group hero itself, you may want to add a condition for the top, sorry, for the current page width is less than, this back arrow means it's less than 576, as I said, bootstrap standard. We want to change the top padding to 64. Now, once we go back into the responsive menu here, that should be a little bit closer and look a little bit cleaner. As you can see there, not as much gap spacing in between the nav bar and the first column here. 64 for mobile, 96 for desktop. For the uh, left and right paddings, 32 is fine. But as I said, once we break that 576 break point, we need 16 left and right padding and 64 top padding. So in the responsive, we have 1200, looks fine. 992, fine. One pixel under that breaks to a new line. That's fine. 768, still looking clean. Now under this is where all our conditions we just applied will show. So I break to 320 now, and as you can see, we have our 64 padding as opposed to 96. Our left and right are now 16 as opposed to 32. And if we really wanted to, we could change the bottom padding also from 96 to uh, 64 but I don't think we need to in this case as the image itself is already sitting close enough to our group left. So that is a basic guide on how to use conditions to make your application fully mobile responsive. Uh, conditions are something that you need to get used to as they are a, a very big part of uh, app development and use them a lot in Bubble. So the quicker you get used to using them and become familiar with that, the better you will be. Make sure to like, subscribe if you enjoyed this type of content and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.